Welcome to our channel, where we bring you the latest and greatest in the world of bodybuilding. Today, we have a special treat for you. We're excited to bring you exclusive insights from none other than Steve Weinberger, the head judge of the Mr. Olympia competition. In this video, Steve shares his expert knowledge and insider tips on what it takes to win the 2023 Olympia. You won't want to miss this rare opportunity to hear from one of the most respected figures in the bodybuilding world. So sit back, relax, and get ready to take your training to the next level with Steve Weinberger's exclusive insights on winning the 2023 Olympia. Steve Weinberger, the head judge of the Olympia competition, has expressed his views on the forthcoming event. The Olympia is set to take place in Orlando, Florida in November 2023, allowing athletes some time to prepare, although the deadline is approaching quickly. Weinberger recently shared his opinions on the top contenders for the upcoming show. The men's open division has seen a remarkable increase in talent each year, with new promising athletes emerging. In the previous December, Derek Lunsford achieved a remarkable feat by reaching the top in his debut competition in open bodybuilding. He secured the runner-up position, with Hattie Chupin claiming the coveted title of Mr. Olympia for the first time in his career. This year, these competitors, along with other prominent athletes, are expected to make a significant impact. Notable among them is Nick Walker, who finished third in the 2022 edition. During a recent interview on the Menace podcast, Weinberger offered advice to these competitors. Big Ramey had a dominant presence in the bodybuilding scene, clinching back-to-back -back Olympia titles in 2020 and 2021. However, following his victory in 2021, Ramey's performance witnessed a decline, resulting in him finishing fifth in December. Steve Weinberger shared his thoughts on what he believes may have contributed to Ramey's struggles over the past year. I think he might need a break honestly and he needs to leave his legs alone. His legs are way out of proportion. His back still has to come up and his shoulders and arms look like they deflated a little bit. He really did not look good in Pittsburgh. I think he might need some time honestly, maybe a year to step away. I don't think he's done. I think he needs a break. I really do. Furthermore, Weinberger delved into Ramey's performance at the Arnold Classic, an event where many anticipated an improved showing from him. However, Weinberger expressed his belief that Ramey did not deliver the expected improvement. Additionally, he reflected on the era when dominant bodybuilders would consistently win the Olympia title year after year. He really didn't look any better at the Arnold to tell you the truth. I don't think so, no. It was also different guys too but I don't think he looked better. His size was gone too. Didn't think he was bigger at the Arnold. I don't think we're ever going to see an 8-time Mr. Olympia again. Or a 7-time or even a 6-time. I could be wrong but I don't see it. There's no one I see that's dominating that's going to dominate like that. Following that, Weinberger proceeded to discuss additional prominent contenders, starting with the reigning champion, Hattie Chupin, and the Arnold Classic champion, Samson Dada. In 2021, he had a few problems with his physique. He was harder in 2021 but he was a more complete package in 2022. He HD a couple of problems in 2021, you know what they were. On Samson Dada, he needs conditioning and more back. Great hamstrings, great shape. At Pittsburgh, he wasn't sloppy. He was pretty good. Absolutely. He's got a beautiful body and a lot of muscle. On Andrew Jacked. Andrew Jacked's got to build those legs up. He's got the frame to do it but that lower half has got to get built. If he had legs like Raimi, I don't know what would happen. The Arnold, he was flat. If you enjoyed this video and want to see more like it, please hit the subscribe button and turn on notifications to stay updated on all of our latest content. Your support means everything to us, and we couldn't do this without you. So once again, thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.